What's up guys, it's Burback here, and I'm back, at least for the time being. Um, it's been three months since I posted anything. A mixture of just some like bad circumstances and um, just like with COVID and everything, kind of left me in like a weird like spot of working on different recording stuff and I have just fell through on a lot of things I've done. Um, just, you know, changing jobs and then a lot of like the COVID stuff hit and then I've been doing other things. So it's been a while since I've actually recorded um, or thought about it and I've been trying to get motivated to jump back on. I just haven't had, I guess, a drive to play, um, at least here recently, but picking it back up, trying to get back in it slowly, work my way back into doing a couple of the different things I was doing, um, like recording video uh, for YouTube and streaming. Um, and then a couple other little projects. So hopefully this is me being back. Um, I don't know exactly what my schedule is going to be. Um, I work much later into the afternoon than I used to, as you hear my dog sneeze. Um, so the, the amount of time I have in the afternoon to actually do stuff um, is a little limited. Plus, you know, we, me and my wife share one computer. She wants to do things also. I have other responsibilities. Um, that being said, I'm back now. Um, and let's get enough of that. You know, here's here, um, you know, little intro thing. Uh, let's look at the mods. So I actually looked at the mod list, I think it was yesterday, because um, it's been changed since I last played. And we have a couple of the other ones based mod, like normal shop mod. I really like the shop mod. I think it's great. Factory, I might take out eventually. Um, it adds another act, but it's always so, like... I wouldn't say broken, but it, it does some weird things. But it's, if you're really overpowered, um, it's a fun act to go through. Um, STS Lib, uh, a good one, adds a few different things. The Jungle, really enjoy it. It's another floor. Aspirations um, adds what is, uh, relics and cards. I like ones that add just like another layer to the game, so I'm always going for it. New Monsters, Boss, and the Leaks, Potions and Events, Replay the Spire. Huge expansion, as it says. Um, hubris. Infinite Spire, Mimic, I might take out Mimic. I feel like I always hit the Mimics. Um, but that being said, they're still fun and they're always interesting. Uh, Bug Knight, just another character. Judge, character. Vex, content mod. Rare Rewards, just a little bit mod there. Disciple, uh, another character. Um, I put 2.0 uh, it? compatibility. Um, I don't know if this fixes, but the Disciple when I was trying to play was not working. Um, it like, you could play it for a while, but eventually it would, the game would lock up. So I'm hoping this might fix it. Um, this is probably the first of the new mods I added. Then I added a Gungeon mod, because Gungeon's fun, but I'm so bad at it that I don't <laughs> play Gungeon very much. So I'm hoping this will be a fun way to do it. Um, act like it, you had to add for new acts. So I, that would being said, I added the Hollow Nest with that. Uh, Hermit is a new character. Along, along with the potion brewer. And then spicy shops. I think this adds more shop as modifier. Uh, I had pictures of spice from Gungeon is the main reason I added it. So we'll see how that goes. We're gonna hit play here. Go to standard. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of my off time, but I've been playing like the base game. I've been really enjoying the Watcher. Um, she's just really powerful and really fun. Uh, that being said, I wanna look at, so I thought we would have another character oh there it goes it just doesn't oh it does show i just missed it so here is the that's the hermit i have not played them yet um so we might try that in a minute and then the judge okay so i could let's go in reverse order starting with the judge and then we'll go backwards because we've seen ironclad i want to play some modded stuff and just see how it goes okay so you find yourself in darkness we can Awaken, or green path in bushes and vines, the mind of an urn revealed. Is that, yeah, un? Is, it, is that how that be pronounced? Uh, and then go somewhere and choose randomly. Let's do, choose randomly. So we got the normal one. We can turn around, but we'll talk to the whale. It says choose. Um, these aren't great in terms of like options. Random potions could help us get through the first couple of fights. Max HP, I'm not really a fan of. Power and 
obtain an additional starter rod. Could be nice. What do we have here? Every three cards, choose a curse to add to that. Could be skipped. And then we have gain judgment. I don't remember what judgment is, and it's not going to let me look. So I'll have to look at the first one. Um, let's gain an additional starter. This one could bite us in the butt, because a lot of the different relics don't interact well with each other. As in, I won't get a lot of benefit, but I think this is the most interesting out of the ones we have. Remove a card could be good just to get some more consistency. But I don't remember how the judges played, so we're going to try this one. And we got, okay, we're going to snake. Uh, overall, very good. Uh, at the start of combat, draw two additional cards. I think that is a great one to get. All around just good. I think we're going to go... I think we're going to hit for this elite if we're strong enough. If not, we can... By the time we get to the shop, we'll know if we think we can take on this elite. Uh, if not, we can go up this question mark path right here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Because there'll be one here, and then we can get a second one here. Or a second one up here, depending on which way we want to go. All right. Yeah, I think I like that. And if we have to go up this way, we can snake around and get another shop in. But this first early shop will probably give us uh, a good option to grab. Uh, I'll figure out how to play. Um, we'll see if we can grab a car that'll help us. So judgment. At the end of your turn, deal damage to all enemies based on how many curses are in your exhaust pile. And attacks you played that turn. Okay. Not bad. Disease. When enemy attacks, they will take half the damage they inflicted. The fraction is rounded down. Okay. So we'll defend. We'll apply the disease. I like that it's free. And then we'll apply... Ooh, okay. Um... I think I want to hit him again, even though we're going to take some damage. Because that'll get more of the judgment. Yeah, two judgment, and then we'll take a little bit. And then they take more from the disease. I like that. So this is the 10 damage to all enemies. Afflicted. Is this how many in the exhaust pile? So this is just good to play in general. And then we'll just kill and take a little damage. Ooh, this is from the Gunjaman Glass Guand. Um, I like this a lot. Uh, you get these just as like rewards, um, which is nice. Uh, as you would expect, they block one damage for each one you have. If you take damage, you lose them all. I like that a lot. Acid potion. Targets block and deal five damage. That's pretty nifty. I haven't seen a lot of this, these different things because I've only done like one run um, with some of the new stuff. So this will be a fun learning experience. Uh, five damage and two disease. I'd like to not get hit. So the start of your turn, exhaust one card and draw a card. I like that a lot. What's the upgrade on that? Does it turn to one? Ooh, yeah. I like that. And then, if you intend to attack, you intend to turn on. And increase the enemy's strength by eight for this turn. Ooh. No. Let's go blood thinning. Uh, if we intend to take curses, that'll help a lot. And that'll be a good, like, first turn, uh, first turn upgrade. Or first, uh, upgrade in the our rest. Not our rest. Our... Is so rest site? Is that the way you say that? I don't remember. Um, campsite, I guess it would be. And that one didn't trigger their curl up, which I like. Exhaust. Okay. We're not going to get this one down, unfortunately, and we're going to lose our Guan Stone, but it's fine. We, I feel like you get them pretty frequently, so I'm not too upset about it. Five damage for every card in your exhaust pile deals an additional one damage. Okay, this kind of fits with what we're going with. This is exhausted two. If there are no curse cards in your hand, lose 2 HP. And yeah, I don't like that. I think I'm going to go with this one. I think the goal is just to really add a bunch of stuff to our deck. Um, okay, so this is Silent, uh, Ironclad, um, Defect. I think we want, if we got anything, it'd be from the Silent. Let's look. Toxic. Oh, no, it's the different eggs. That's fine, though. Become injured. We want curses. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm fine taking the curse and the egg. I think I would actually would have preferred the attack one, but I'm not too upset about it either way. Shop. That's weird. That there's just a riot there. Okay, uh, so we're trying to apply one disease to all of me. I don't think we're doing diseases into your drop out exhaust. That's interesting. That always gives us something to kind of like um, exhaust. Card in your hand. Retain. Interesting. I'm not sure what this like price tag above it means. But hmm. Okay. 
Heal, eight damage. Next turn, exhaust one card. That could be good, it could be bad. And also, I'm not sure why there's a second layer. I think this is like the Gungeon mod, like being a little weird with the shops. We could just get Shovel. What's this one? Interest to the resource, the nest of the resourceful rat. That's also interesting. I don't know if we're strong enough. I think I'd rather take this since it's already upgraded and apply two more. I think I'll take these two to make our deck just stronger overall. Because we're gonna need a uh, like a fat deck to really go through. And I think we are gonna go for this elite. Um, we'll try to pick up another card here. Because if we're doing like this, we're gonna put a bunch of curses in there. Um, we don't need block yet. Will this and this? Because he definitely will hit us next turn. But we can start exhausting curses. Depressive. When drawn, gain two languid and draw a card. See, I'm not, I'm not upset about that. And deal one additional damage. So this is gonna deal like four damage. But we're languid. Um, let's go ahead and get blood thinning up, and go ahead and defend right here. This will let us start exhausting some of these curses. Yep. So we can. I don't want. Red. Ooh, at the end of your turn, exhaust your hand. That could be. That's fine, actually. I'm totally fine with amnesia. That's actually a really good, like, set of curses. And then these are all in the thing. So they'll take five. Alright. So we can exhaust depressive. And this one does an additional six damage. So that's nine here. We're figuring this out. So they have eight. We're going to deal eight damage. At the end of the turn. Awesome. Embrace a curse. Yes. Um, this card is in your hand. You cannot play attacks. That could be rough, but I think it's better. Normality, I think we want to play more than three um, per set, because I think we're going to be wanting to pick up relics. So I think I'll go pacifist. Um, grave, exhaust. Whenever you exhaust a guard, gain five block. I like that. I wonder all. That's also really good. Mm, I think that's going to be better. Just overall. All right, we got. Moss Knight. Okay. Ill Will here. Um, beneath the mask. Go there. Got a bunch of these. And then we'll go ahead and play this. That'll get all, all of our setup mostly done. And whenever we exhaust... Yeah. Good problem. Okay. So we got a lot of curses and stuff this turn. Um, and then... Two to later. Okay, so it switches. I'm, there's a lot of reading there. I think I'm fine. This is gonna exhaust them all anyway. So it's gonna exhaust them. We gain 15 block right there. And then hit him for four. And he got hit back for five. Um, let's, able to see any intent for the for this combat. Uh, I'm not skilled enough to know. So I think we'll keep, we'll play out pacifist and then we'll be good. So play out pacifist, you can play attacks now. So this is going to do 11. I think I'm just going to hit the Moss Knight and let this go through. I'll take the two damage. Let's see, because this one's just going to die over time. I think. Exhaust Rise. That's fine. Ill Will on you. Strike. Um, and then we have leftover energy that we don't really need. That dude's blocking every turn, which is slightly annoying. Uh, exhaust Injury. There we go. That's nice. They got vulnerable. Uh, I think I can go ahead, yeah. Let's outright kill them to reduce the damage we're taking. 19 there, uh, we can block it off. And then we're gonna slowly hit him for seven more. Cause this gets around his plated armor. Exhaust pacifism. We have eight, so that's doing 12. And then we can hit him with two strikes. Dang, 10 damage every turn is like a pretty good amount. Barricade, okay, they turned into something not great. Um, I think we're good to exhaust the ill will. And then we will continue. They already had the vulnerability, so we will do the two strikes. And I guess we'll just use this to continue the vulnerability. All right, they are healing every turn, which I don't like. Um, keep getting the defense out. And we're, we want to really get them. I think we got them here. Awesome. That didn't go too bad. Another glass of water. Bottle. I'm not seeing this one. This was from Gungeon Mod. Upon pickup, game one potion slot. Right click to use once in a turn. Deal thramid three damage. If fatal, at the start of the next combat, increase the amount of regen by three. Wait, what? Get one potion slot. Right click to use once in a turn. Deal three damage. If fatal, increase the amount 
of region by three. Hmm. We'll just have to try it. It doesn't, like the wording's not 100% clear. All right, apply to, to, to a random enemy three times, exhaust. Okay. Shuffle a random curse into your draw pot. I think that's fine. I don't know, this sounds bad, but like to continue to um, gain like more curses to exhaust to get more powerful, I think is what we want. Rear Smith, I think blood thinning is the first one I want. Just to make it a little cheaper. It's a little hard to play right now. Okay, thief right here. Um, exorcism, let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's go ahead and, well, ill will because he's obtaining to attack. I think this is just gonna be like a, oh, I could hit him one more time, apparently. All right, so I wanna kill him with that. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and get this on my hand. Cast Fist can stay in the deck. We're gonna lose his last time, but that's fine. Discard the injury. Do this. All right, and I think I can hit him twice here. Six, and then if I, Okay, it just deals three damage, and you can just do that once per combat. Odd. Like that one. So I guess if you do get the kill with them, you um, add regen next time. Interesting. Shuffle three ashes. A one cost status card that exhaust. That's not bad though. I'm totally fine to get like stuff to exhaust. Centennial puzzle. When we take damage, uh, we get to draw three cards from the base game. All right, cremate. Oh, because I have pacifism in my hand. That's fine. We're going to do this, and we're going to gain that, and put, get rid of all of their um, artifacting. And we have plenty of blocks, so. Blood thinning. Oh, we're not going to be able to defend enough, but we're going to defend for the most. We're still kind of getting our setup going. We are going to lose our, our goo on some. We're not able to keep in this round. We don't have enough, like, super defensive plays. Okay, uh, add two, that's fine. Let's go ahead and get rid of blindness since that affects me the whole combat. Um, ill will towards you. And exhaust a card, gain five block, that's fine. And then we'll just do beneath the mask. Keep really getting the curses in here. This, this character has a lot of setup, which is fine, but it is gonna take me a moment to um, figure out how to play him out. Two seconds, had to. Figure out what my dog was doing. Take uh, drink call, exhaust two. At the end of your turn, gain confusion for one round. At the end of your turn, your attacks become obscured for three turns. I think that's the most annoying. It'd either be that one or this one. But I think that's what we're going to go with. Alright, so we gain five block there. Um, the rest of them I can do nothing with. Uh, I can draw, take two and draw the card. And I drew a daze. That kind of sucks. Like, we're gonna start dealing AoE damage, but it's gonna be really slow. I guess we still full block, though. At the end of it, we're gonna get a lot of blocks from these dazed. Exhaust, I guess we will. This card is exhausted. So that'll work just by exhausting it this way, right? Yeah. Oh, we are. Stuff costs a lot. Um, these are gonna exhaust. I think we're fine just to strike and go with that. These exhaust. Yep. Works the way I thought it did. All right, uh, get rid of pacifism, that's an annoying one. Hit him, and then we'll defend twice. These two will exhaust. Yeah, this is a good fight for us just because of uh, Pentance. Uh, I guess get rid of the days. Let's see how bad this is. Um, we are going to cremate you. Ashes, they just exhaust for one. Not bad. No will on you. I think we can kill him right, yeah. 19 damage on one card. Embrace another curse. Draw one card, exhaust, switch, to take two damage. That's fine. I'm also fine with this one. Yeah, look at that. Multi-tool, this is from Play the Spire. You have two additional options at rest sites. I like that a lot. For each card in your exhaust pile, gain an additional one block. Woo! Yes, I am totally down. That's the opposite of the other one we have. The attack one. Randomize my starter relic. Um, no. I like my start my story relics. Okay, ooh. You don't know which one it, it 
Okay, I'm fine with that. They have a little bit, so we, we should definitely take a second. Can you find what treasure in a leech room? That's pretty nice. This one's discounted. Yeah, started. Eh, blood thinning. Another one of those could be really good. Another one of this could be good. I can get both of these too. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take that. As nice as it would be to get this, honestly, like trying to fight the shopkeeper would be real sweet. But usually I do, I die. But the, the acid brew could do it. <sighs> We're at 41. And it takes us a long time to start up. I don't think we'll be able to. Hmm. But look at all the relics. And it'll be empty the rest of the game. We won't right now. We I think we've died most of the times we fought the shopkeeper. Alright. Uh, Curse Buckler. Let's go ahead and just get this going. And then... Strike him. Because he's going to make us frail. And then we'll will you. Because I'll probably take the 6 next turn. Unfortunately. Get the injury gone. 18 only? Eh. Um, actually do this. Cremate kills that. Take the ashes. And then we'll do 6 damage to you. Sweet. Alright, pacifism is gone. We will do blood thinning. And strike and defend. Not full defense, but it works. Oh yeah. So yeah, we can do beneath the mask. Oh, exhaust this one and this one. Awesome. Uh, we will do this again. We will do penance. And that should be good starting with next turn. We are going to take 12 here. Which is going to hurt. Yep. But now I can do like looming evil and doubt will be great ones. Uh, I'll play deal five to a random enemy. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Put another one in. I can deal, do that. I can exhaust this out. And I can defend again. And then they're taking five. Yeah, it takes me a second to get going. But once we get like going in here, we're like super good. Okay. Uh, potency increase. Of judgment clear at the end of your turn. Ha. Huh. And what's barbs? Die back move at the start of your next turn. Eh. I'm not really feeling any of these. Like this one would be the best one, but I think we're building up enough. I don't think I need more cards between the cards we need. I mean I kinda knew it, but oh he didn't uh whatchamacallit me. Bunch of curses and penance. That's what we want. I, if penance was a little bit cheaper, it'd be better. To exhaust and then your turn, shuffle curse into your draw pile and that's fine. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Um, hmm. Either way, I'm taking a bunch. Eh, yeah. Ouch. 14 damage. Well, we'll take a little bit of it, but. Alright, but we can go ahead and just, like, get rid of that. Well. Uh, draw pile. Yeah, we can do that. And we'll gain 10, and then we will. Uh, Ill will you, Malice. I think that's fine. Yep, two more. We might have the rest of the shop. Pacifism sucks. For that. Man, we are getting rough stuff. A little bit more. That was kind of my bad. I should have blocked instead. All right, looming evil, depression, foggy mind. <laughs> Exhaust all this at 15 block a turn. Now we're getting somewhere. He's doing 17, so we should do this again. I can't play that one. Interesting. And then we got a treasure. We're getting there. This one, this one, and then I can do one more. All three of these. Out of here. Do this to you. Do that much damage. Shruffle some more curses in there. Keep getting my judgment up. I could have ill willed you, but I didn't need to. This one, this one, and this one, I guess. First time you play it. The first card you play after drawing this card. Ooh, actually, let's get rid of this one and do this one. I think. 
That's a rough one. Dude, we can go ahead and play this one out and we'll do this. Okay. Yeah, we're kind of slow to like build up. Um, I don't need the sacrilege, I guess. And then we'll do this and then we'll cremate. And then we'll strike. Get rid of him. The Coda Ring, whenever we play three attacks, then two skills, and then two attacks, then one skill, they'll throw damage. That's hard to double your strength. I have no strength gain. Mm, gain five points. That's pretty good. We'll take that. Like I said, we didn't need to take it, but I immediately did. It's fine, though. Uh, I'm going to, who are we fighting? Yeah, I'm going to rest. It's going to be a long episode, I think. All right, into the boss fight. Ooh. Hmm. I wonder what this really does. If I do this, oh, it just goes up to six. Does it completely go down? Like if I do this now? So ideal six. Oh, and then it goes down to one. Interesting. Oh, this is a bad turn. Bad, bad turn. Um, I could... Crap. Do this. Hit him there. Fire potion. And I'm good. Okay. It's a hard one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take damage. Which sucks, but this is kind of a slow step deck, so it's fine. What to exhaust? I guess it will. Kind of like a useless card. Blood thinning, beneath the mask, and then I can get 11 blocks. Not the best I can do right there. All right, foggy mind's gone, and a basic strike. Do this, and I need to do 40 damage to you. So, cremate does a bunch. I don't think I'll be able to do enough. That stinks. Oh, deal five damage. <laughs> We're not quite set up yet. I guess that might have done four. That might have done it, honestly. Um, these two, yeah. Fine, beneath the mask. Oh, it's 24 damage. Okay, I get it now. We still don't have penance up, so... Is it penance? It's not penance. It's something else. Whatever one we want up. The ultimate card. I don't know what that is. Gain two language and draw two cards. Oh, we might be in trouble here. We might die here. Because, yeah, we're not gaining it for... Yeah, and I think we are super bad. Because we're not getting blocked for everything we exhaust. I can't play that. I gotta play Foggy Mine. That I can't play because of... I guess Gluttony. Yeah, I don't know why I can't play Malisol. Something I got has made it where I can't. But we're taking 16. We got 14. Unfortunately, that was it. We didn't get a... We, I should have drew our um, other card we needed. Our, um, but should have drawn it. I should have played it. I bet we drew through it, but I could have done three more damage. I, forget, I totally forgot about the bottle. That's all right. We have hit half an hour, so that's pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, thank you guys for watching so much. Um, if you did enjoy, um, please hit that like button or leave a comment. I'd love to know your guys' opinion, what you guys are enjoying. Um, I'm going to play through some Slay the Spire, I think. Um, i got to figure out what I'm doing with RimWorld. Um, I'd like to play it, but man, it's hard to like keep it going every episode. So I might try to do like move some challenges or something. I've been like teetering around with some different mods um, and getting some different ideas. So that might be coming back, and then some Minecraft, maybe. I'm still working it out. If you guys have opinions of stuff you'd like to see me play, please go ahead and drop it down in the comments at the bottom. And again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.